History tells us that it was always a matter of time. The threat of a deadly pandemic, an outbreak of infectious disease that rapidly crosses international borders. It was what kept scientists awake at night while the rest of us slept. At a lab in Thailand, this team of scientists are still awake at night, working around the clock against a backdrop that has become all too real. They were given the near impossible task, find out where a mystery pathogen came from, how it's transmitted and how to stop it. My research work are the fighting the, the novel virus from wildlife. Uh, mostly are in bat because bat is uh, a black box of the many viruses. So we try to find a novel one that might be the next threat to the human. Dr. Supapon and her team of virus hunters have studied coronaviruses in the past. For years, their research took them deep into Thai caves to catch bats, less interested in the bats themselves than the viruses they might be carrying. She was the first in the country to study bat pathogens. She was the first in the country to diagnose a patient with the novel coronavirus even before the genetic sequence was released to the world. I double check uh, a lot of times to confirm it is uh, the new one. It's kind of like the two days that I kind of um, worry. So this is the, the novel one or not, but I have to report to the Thai government that I found something from the patient that not related to the, the human. Since then, tens of thousands of samples have come through her lab. That amount is increasing exponentially. But their expertise means they've already managed to cut the waiting time for results down from almost two days to just a few hours. Research and development at labs just like this around the world enable scientists, researchers, healthcare professionals to coordinate and align efforts to develop tools to contain this outbreak. It is a race against time to stay ahead of this new pathogen that now has a foothold in every continent except Antarctica. The speed of the spreading is quite uh, very fast compared to SARS and so I think it could not be at the SARS. That's just only one outbreak and then gone. And then after we have the uh, vaccine, we have the herd immunity in the community, so we can uh, live with them more safely. As the global alert level rises to its highest, it's hard to imagine how this story will end. Good news is that research capabilities, technology and real-time clinical knowledge means the world has some weapons to wield. And this team of soldiers in Thailand are fighting their biggest war yet against an enemy that is virtually invisible. Lucita Sao Gao, CGTN, Bangkok, Thailand.